How many 4090s do you need as a creator? Is it actually worth getting more than one? I have three over here. The Liquid X from MSI and then the TUF Gaming OC cards from ASUS. And I have put them all in this PC over here. What we're talking about is the scaling of RTX 4090 graphics card. Perhaps if you've got a Threadripper Pro system like that one, what performance do you actually get in photo, video and 3D editing applications? Let's take a look. Deepcool and their LT series AIOs feature the Deepcool fourth generation pump, which has the optimized micro channel three phase motor up to 3100 RPM. The FK120 PWM fans are extremely powerful yet silent from 500 to 2250 RPM range and at full load noise at up to 32.9 decibels. The unique geometric reflection design on the block cover brings out an enjoyable aesthetic to the PC build and is easy to install. It comes in 240 mm and 360 mm sizes and in black and white. Deepcool LT series AIOs deliver high-end performance and is recommended by many. Check them out through the links in the video description below. So if you haven't seen this PC build and you don't know what I'm talking about, I highly recommend you go check it out then you can see what's happening there. But what I managed to do is benchmark the whole system with one 4090, two 4090s, three 4090s, and an RTX 3090 as well. So we've got a bit of a comparison between the best of last gen, pretty much, and then we'll see how the scaling goes. First, let's take a look at photo editing. Here we have Photoshop at first, and I don't think anyone's really gonna get a 4090 for Photoshop, but let's take a look if there's any difference. So going from one to two, we see actually a bit of a decrease in performance. Even the GPU score is slightly slower, but it's an average of maybe seven tests, which means that there is a little bit of a performance difference, but also if you count in the margin of error, you're not gonna notice a difference. With three RTX 4090s, we're getting 1% performance increase and 0.18% GPU performance increase. So as you can see, not really worth it. And with an RTX 3090, we're only 2.3% slower, which really doesn't matter or you're not going to notice it at all. Moving on to Lightroom Classic, and this is here where we've done about an 8 benchmark and then the score you see in here is the average going from one to two we can see there is a three percent increase so it looks like okay maybe we're getting some kind of performance obviously price is two times when you go from one to two when we're going to three we can see that we're getting actually extra 12 percent compared to single rtx 1490 interestingly the active score is actually slower but the passive score is a bit higher which is just interesting but what's more interesting is that we're getting a much higher score with rtx 3090 as you can see which is 20 percent higher than rtx 1490 which just means that gpu for photo editing really doesn't make a difference at all in fact i wouldn't recommend buying two GPUs for your photo editing. Just go with a mid or low end GPU and you're gonna be completely fine. Moving on to video editing. First of all, Premiere Pro. From one card to two cards, we're getting about 5% increase in extended score and 3.7 in standard overall score. Interestingly, the effect score raises about 17.5%, which is interesting, and the GPU score about 7.6. So still not worth it, especially when we see the export scores for some reason are slower with two RTX 4090s than with a single one. I guess it just can't figure out which encoders we're using because now we have four encoders because there's two on each of these GPUs. From one to three cards, we're seeing about 7.4% increase in extended overall and about 6.6% in standard overall scores. Interestingly, again, the export scores are still lower than with a single card, but they're not as low as with two cards but interestingly the fx scores have increased 21.5 percent with three rtx 4090s and the gpu score about 12.5 percent so here going from one to three we're not going to see a big increase at all and compared to the rtx 3090 we're only about eight percent slower than the rtx 4090 so again here consider not a big difference in video editing.
Now DaVinci Resolve, which loves to use GPUs and is known to have very good multi-GPU support and things get interesting. Going from 14090 to 24090s, we're actually losing performance in the extended and standard overall scores. 12% in extended and 8 to 9% in standard overall. The 4K and 8K media scores are lower as well, which just is absolutely puzzling. I don't know what's going on. The GPU effects though is 31% higher, but the diffusion score is about 25% slower. When going from one card to three 4090s, we have about 20% increase in extended overall score and about 27% in the standard overall score. The 4K media score is about 7% faster, but 8K media about 6% slower than a single 4090, which is interesting. The GPU effect score though here has increased a lot. With three cards, we are more than doubling the GPU effect score and interestingly, the fusion score again is about 7% slower than with one RTX 1490. Obviously, when we're looking at three RTX 1490s with one 3090, there's a huge performance difference there. And we're getting close to, or getting close to double the performance in standard overall score, for example, there. But the 3090 is from 25 to 36% slower than the 1490. But then, 3D and this is where these cards and this situation actually starts to make sense Looking at V-Ray which easily supports multi GPU rendering You can see when going with two cards. We're getting 83% increase in CUDA and 95% increase in RTX so close to double with the RTX scores when adding the third card we're getting 168.7% increase in CUDA and 188.2% in RTX. So the RTX performance scales better than the CUDA, which is interesting. So piling the RT cores somehow works better in V-Ray than the CUDA cores piling. The 3090 is about 50% to 52% slower than single 1490. So from single 3090 to three 1490s is a huge difference. In Octane render, things are even better. When going from one to two cards, we're getting 99.5% increase, which are literally doubling the performance with the second card. It's 0.5% slower. I mean, that's crazy. With three cards, we're literally tripling the score compared to the single 1490. So when using Octane Render, then having multiple GPUs just makes perfect sense for you because you're literally getting the same performance every single time you add a card. And that's when I recommend these Liquid X cards from MSI because they're skinny cards, they're very fast cards, and if you have enough room for fans and radiators in your case, mounting these will be easier than mounting these big air-cooled cars because they are about 3.5 or close to four slot thickness where these are only two slot thick. Compared to the 3090, which is about 50% slower than the 1490. So the 1490 is double the performance than the 1390. Then three 1490s is six times the performance of a 1390. Which means that if you had a render that took six hours with one 3090, then now with three 1490s, it only takes one hour. That could be huge. If you had to change something, let's say the client says, okay, can we change this a little bit or that little bit? You don't have to wait for six hours to get the whole render across or you have to change something or this, this is a game changer. Let's move on to Blender. And before I'm gonna show you the benchmarks, there's a little note here. This is a Blender benchmark, which measures samples per minute. And as far as I know, the benchmark is not able to utilize multi GPUs. Even though Blender, when working with Blender, there are some workarounds where you could use multiple GPUs. It's not as simple as Octane Render or V-Ray where just selecting multiple GPUs and boom, you just use it. 
there's a few more boxes and things uh, hoops you have to jump through but as you can see in this video this guy is using four 3090s in blender even though it comes from an external chassis but it is a possible but not with this benchmark and as you can see this benchmark here doesn't change at all when i'm single two cards or three cards so that's why having these cards for blender perhaps isn't as simple as straightforward as with some of the other 3d uh, benchmarks now if you have any tips for me how could i do this in blender and how could we show 3rtx 4090s in blender then let me know so in conclusion as a creator is it worth going with multiple 1490s and spending the absolutely ridiculous extra cash and the answer is well it depends what you're doing as you can see in 3d it starts to make a ton of sense even though we can't pull the vram as simply as you know we had before with the nv link we're still getting a lot of rendering power in 3d and that's the best news the not so good news is in video editing where in davinci resolve we do see an increase perhaps i don't know what was going on with the two cards there but we do see an increase it's not as well scaled as we see in 3d but it's still doable in after effects and premiere pro I really don't see the point unless you have a very specific workflow where you can see benefit of having multiple GPUs. But in these benchmarks, we really don't see that. And in photo editing, absolutely no chance. Please don't get yourself multiple GPUs. In fact, if you're just a photographer in photo editing, don't get yourself a 4090, don't get yourself a 4080, just get a mid-range card or a low-end card and you're gonna be completely fine with it. There are some very specific use cases where you can use some kind of a you know rt cores and gpu for topaz ai for example but i don't think that is as well spread as we think if you're a creator and you're wondering which pc to build then i've got a build guides linked in every single video description check them out there's four videos there different budgets you pick the one that's closest to yours and then i'll explain everything in the video it's completely free i just made these tutorials so that you can get the best performance for yourself you can just go check those videos out i'll explain and everything there everything you need is down there H highly recommend checking it out as well as these cards that i'll leave linked in the description below thanks guys for watching bye bye